Mainstream medical doctors say that drinking Coca-Cola and eating French fries can improve your migraine symptoms. Now, this is not satirical. This is not April Fool's. It's actually May 23rd when we film this, but this is a viral story about a migraine remedy that people are rushing to McDonald's for headache relief. Yeah, this is literally the headline on Fox News. Uh, I want to thank our videographer, Sam, for sending me this story. This is crazy. Uh, a lot of folks suffer from migraines and they are really debilitating. Pretty much everyone I know that suffers from migraines, sadly, eats excessive amounts of ultra processed food. But this doctor says drinking Coca-Cola and eating French fries can help here. Okay, according to the article, some McDonald's customers on TikTok claim that certain food and drink combinations from fast food restaurants can get rid of their migraines though doctors are quick to share other headache remedies. A migraine is a headache that can cause severe throbbing pain or, pul or pulsing sensation, usually on one side of the head, according to the Mayo Clinic. Common effects include nausea, vomiting, and extreme sensitivity to light and sound. The attacks can last for hours or even days, interfering with daily activities, the same source noted. Now, literally according to this story, Taking a trip through the McDonald's drive-thru, though, might help, customers claim. In one viral video, which has over 3 million views and counting, says a woman sitting in her car in a McDonald's drive-thru, sipping a soda and eating fries. The text said she does this because she's had a headache for 48 hours, and TikTok said it would help. Now, let's stop and talk about how insane this is. This is absolutely ridiculous. The reason why people have migraines in the first place is because they already eat this crappy food, my friends. Uh, this is completely asinine that in 2025, people are getting... Now, I know there's some good information about health on TikTok, but there's also some really, really bad information. And this would be characterized as really, really bad information. Going to McDonald's and eating French fries that have been sprayed with glyphosate and atrazine, and then drinking Coca-Cola that is made from the same corn that is sprayed with crap and is just a bolus dose of sugar is not going to help you long-term suffer from, or it's not going to ameliorate a migraine. Usually people that suffer from migraines have poor metabolic flexibility and poor cognitive health as a consequence of that. Uh, and so we've actually covered several videos and I can link them here about the connection between ketones and nutritional ketosis and metabolic health as a modality to help to lessen the severity of migraines. There's pretty good evidence to suggest that a ketogenic diet that would not be fostered or congruent with drinking soda and having French fries, by the way, uh, helps support migraines. We know that various dietary supplements, things like magnesium, have actually a large dossier of literature to suggest that they help improve uh, the symptomology associated with migraines. And I just want to pause and tell you that if you want to optimize magnesium levels and magnesium health, there's a great new magnesium source from Myoscience featuring what's known as ATA mag. This is magnesium acetyl torate. That is one of two magnesiums that have been shown to cross a blood-brain barrier along with magnesium l This is now found in a combination form in a powder that's really easy to take. And the levels are uh, actually not found anywhere else on the internet or the world. These two sources of magnesium paired together, that is magteen, and magnesium acetyl torates. You can save by going to myoscience.com and use the code podcast on Brain Mag. This is new and improved, really interesting stuff. Uh, great reviews on the existing formula, which has now been upgraded. So more on that later. But again, a ketogenic diet, exercise, and magnesium are all well-validated natural ways to improve the symptomology of all sorts of aspects of your body, but especially if you suffer from migraine-like uh, syndrome. And so... It's just crazy to me that these that people fall for this stuff. I mean, it's just wild, you know, that a video like this would have three million views. I think because it's so egregious and it has so much shock and awe, that's why it goes viral. And then you hear, and then you have people who literally have, with all due respect, they don't have any knowledge basis in nutrition, and they just see the video and they're like, "Well, I get a migraine periodically." So, and they love fast food. Who, I mean, you know, if you're inebriated, like drinking soda and eating french fries, it's going to taste good. Like it's going to be a short-term dopamine hit and you're going to be like, wow, this tastes awesome. You have salt, sugar, fat all blended together. I mean, who doesn't like a french fry here and there? And that's why I don't suggest going to fast food restaurants. It's really hard to throttle back your intake because these foods are intentionally hyper palatable and designed to be overeaten. That's why they're super size and XL size. People just wolf down this stuff, even if they're not hungry. So 
I don't suggest this, but what is really interesting here is a Milwaukee-based family physician is saying there is some science as to how this works. Okay, so he goes on to say uh, the caffeine and the carbonation in Coca-Cola are two of the reasons, according to this family medicine doctor from Wisconsin. If you think about most over-the-counter migraine treatments, the medications themselves can contain a dose of caffeine. Well, let me just tell you, there's many other better ways to get a bolus dose of caffeine without all the sugar. So uh, it's really interesting. He says that caffeine constricts and narrows the blood vessels, which can provide mi migraine relief for some people, the doctor added, the combination of carbonation and caffeine, which can help settle the stomach for those who experience nausea with their headaches. Uh, what? I mean, this is why people are critical of mainstream medical doctors because they're like, they get no training in medical school. So he's literally saying, yeah, if you have a migraine, just go get an extra large Coke because there's a little bit of caffeine and there's carbonation. I mean, there's many other ways to co constrict your blood vessels. Uh, with You can have mate, mate, you can have matcha tea, you can do all this. And then he goes on, this is what's even more egregious. He goes on to say that when it comes to the salty fries, the sodium can help correct the electrolyte imbalance and dehydration, which triggers the migraine. So they're literally, um, a doctor is endorsing French fries and Coke for migraines. I mean- this is crazy. Okay. So I, I don't know. I'm, this is, this is just so egregious. And honestly, this is why people are going to chat GPT instead of doctors for their health advice. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but this is true because th they don't want to get this sort of information. People realize that with all due respect, a lot of mainstream medical doctors do not have the training when it comes to nutrition. So they come up with these egregious, uh, things and, and, you know, most mainstream allied medical health professionals, I should clarify have a higher co-occurrence of chronic disease than the, than the average population. If you've ever been to an emergency room, an outpatient um, critical care setting, or um, some such, you know, mostly medical assistants and the nurses and the doctors, they're not the epitomes of health. I we used to work in sales, and so I would go to many medical clinics all over the country and, and also in Canada and Latin America and parts of Asia. And so I've been to a lot of these um, medical settings of all kinds, specialty clinics, family medicine, doctors, internal medicine, whatever. The break rooms are egregious. You, you would not believe the type of food that these people eat. And mostly because the drug reps and device reps and so forth uh, would bring in, we're talking Jimmy Jones sandwiches, uh, Pizza Hut, Domino's, you, you know, Carl's Jr. The fridges and the, the break rooms were just loaded with trash. And most of the, the personnel, uh, front office people, nurses, medical assistants, uh, the techs, they have, they're obese and type 2 diabetic and they have a lot of uh, health issues. Uh, and it's not their fault necessarily. It's, it's the advice that is being promulgated through the mainstream medical system and the associated training or lack thereof. So it's interesting. Another person wrote, you know, in, in, in this uh, article here, that only Coca-Cola is effective, not Diet Coke. And others agreed with that. I mean, that's just, that's just wild to me. So I don't know. I, it's, it's just insane, my friends. Uh, all you have to do is look at the chronic disease rates in this country, uh, obesity, type 2 diabetes, dementia, and all the mental health issues. These are the very foods that got people into this, this health conundrum that we're experiencing. So I don't suggest going to McDonald's and uh, having... Coke and French fries. If you have a migraine, I would suggest, you know, bed rest, um, you know, some electrolytes, sure. Along with magnesium, uh, water, and probably a ketogenic diet and fasting. I think that would be a really, really good tool. And there's pretty good, uh, evidence to suggest that. And I can link related videos here. So I would like to know what you think in the comment section below, my friends, it seems like the health advice from our mainstream media outlets is getting more and more egregious and sensational as time goes on. It's crazy. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, my friends. Thanks as always for your likes, your comments, your shares. We'll catch you on a future video down the road.